Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to give you guys some feedback on my first ride impressions on the InMotion V12 high torque version. So just to give you a bit of a backstory. Um, I went um, to Speedy Feet um, a few like last, last weekend and uh, had a chat with Ian I had to uh, get some other stuff from him and um, he said to me, do you want to take the wheel and give it a bit of a test drive? So a huge thanks to the guys at Speedy Feet for um, loaning me the wheel so I can do a bit of test riding and give you guys some feedback. And um, it's been quite interesting, very interesting. And that's why the thumbnail is, is it, a th is it a medium thumbs up or thumbs down? So, uh, so let's get into it. So just to give you a bit of backstory, um, I've been using my uh, Kingsong S18. For the last four weeks as you can see the grass is pretty much dead here in the uk we've been having a, a really a dry spell of about four weeks and i've been uh, using my s18 and my sherman basically back to back every day to go to work 20 mile round trip um, it's about 30 percent road and the rest is all gravel but not smooth gravel, well, there's sections with smooth gravel, but the rest is all bumpy and very holy and just like a really a lot of small little potholes. And um, I, was, I, was, I, I was really amped up for this wheel because I had a previous little ride on it and it was really nice and it felt really good. Um, but, but it's interesting. So I'm, I'm, just gonna, I'm just gonna speak my mind. This is not a stats review. If you really wanna see the stats of the wheel, I'll link it up somewhere on this side so you can see all the specs of the wheel. But just let's cover that quickly. So this is the high torque version, as you can see from the orange rim. Um, it's a 2800 watt motor, maximum speed of about 70 kilometers an hour. So that's about, what, about 43 miles per hour. Um, they claim uh, um, about a range of 100 miles um, or 160 kilometers. Um, I'll give you some feedback on that because I'm busy doing some range testing as well. So I'll give you some feedback in a, in a separate video about the range that I'm getting on this wheel. Um, a lot of the, the range testing is very dependent on speed, terrain and so forth. Um, also, the battery is 1,750 watt hour battery, 100 volt, um, 21 700 cells. Charging time is around nine hours. The weight of the wheel is 29 kilograms and the maximum load for the rider is 120 kilos. Um, they say you can climb about a 35 degree um, hit, um, angle. I never really use that for that. So um, my riding is mostly flat and then a bit of hill going um, back from work so downhill in the mornings uphill in the afternoons but it's never short burst of 35 degree uh, inclines and then the uh, the tire size the tire is a, a 16 inch uh, by 3 inch tire and then the other bonus of this wheel is that it's got an ip rating ipx5 on the body and it's got um, ipx7 i think on the battery so it's a really nice uh, weather sealed wheel especially here for the uk then it's got you know nice foot plates it's got the rgb lights on the side it's got the awesome lcd screen on the on the top that you can see i can see it in bright sunlight it's got a nice light that you can set up the the two lights or the four lights and that that is really good the handle is really nice you know boom up it's a little little clip here at the bottom it works well it's a nice height i'm a uh, just to give you an idea, I'm a 75 kilogram rider and I'm about 5 foot 11. 178 centimeters, something in that line. It's got a nice rear light at the back. It's got this, this, this really good stand as well. So you can, it's got, that you can put the wheel down so you don't need a flower pot holder. And uh, also it's got a, a, a clip off switch under, under, underneath the handle. So that's just the overview of the wheel, just the quick specs. So um, let's get into the ride. I just want to explain to you my ride. So as I said, it's 30% road. Um, in the mornings, it's, it's, a, it's flat and then it's a bit of a downhill going down to the canal and then I hit the canal path. Now, the canal path is, is, is gravel. Um, it's, 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 
it's not scraped smooth at all so it's very much small little little holes everywhere so you know like mountain biking you you basically follow your best line to try and make the ride as smooth as possible well that's what i do with all my wheels you know when you ride a route you you, you try and teach yourself the best way so you can get at, at the smoothest ride like flow riding when you're in the mountain bike and you really get the nicest lines so i've built it up in the last four four weeks you know it's 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 my standard route i've been smashing out the miles so uh and yeah so i've done 60 miles on the wheel so it's a it's a first ride re review and what i would like to do as well is if you've got any tips and settings that you use on your v11 high top so i'm going to have the wheel for a few days more um, if you do have any uh, tips and tricks and settings that you use for acceleration braking if you ride in off-road mode or or commute or anything like that that might make the wheel better please drop them in the comments below so right in the beginning please guys any tips and tricks because um, i'm struggling with this wheel that's my first words i want to say as much as i love the look of the wheel and how solid it is and the build quality and all the nice things about it i'm struggling with the wheel um, as you guys know i ride with my trusty old vans just because they are hardy but a nice flat sole as well and it allows me to really grip um, my sherman and my s18 and my m103 and all the other wheels that i've that i've uh, that i've got i've not had any problems with riding in these shoes and first thing off the bat is my feet are in agony riding this wheel for some bizarre reason i can if i'm if i go in, in the mornings to the to my work i'm i'm actually my feet is hurting that i had to stop like halfway through my 10 mile route really bizarre and this is for me riding back to back daily to work and back 20 mile ride and the mixture between between the sherman and the s18 so yes the s18 has got suspension the sherman doesn't um but but just to give you an idea my feet were in agony really bizarre um that i actually swapped my uh, uh my vans out and i'm riding with my my winter boots because it just uh, uh it's got more support for my feet and and it it, it is actually better so uh just want to start started like that so if you've got any tips and tricks for for what you set the the foot plates to or or what shoes you wear or what settings you've got on the wheel please drop in the comments below so let's start from the from the uh, from the top uh, trolley handle really awesome i really like this little clip here it's really simple uh, you can probably very easy bolt as well to take the trolley handle off clip down um, the kill switch is really nice i would have liked the kill switch to be smaller just because sometimes I want to lift the wheel up without um, um, uh, uh, killing the, the, the wheel. So I would like a smaller switch, maybe just here in the front, like half the size of what it is now. Um, I, had, I had someone look at, look at the wheel and they wanted to pick the wheel up and, uh, or move the wheel forward and they, dripped the, uh, they clipped the cutoff switch and the wheel just fell forward. So they were like, oh, what's, oh, what's happening? I said, no, it's just a kill switch. It didn't fall, it just tipped forward and they weren't, they weren't expecting it. Because they didn't even know there was a kill switch so it, th that th that's how part of the handle it feels so a smaller kill switch would be awesome the light is awesome listen guys this top screen where you can see your speed and and the battery and and all the stats is absolutely awesome you know yes the in motion app is, is really nice but man this screen has got all the details that you need nothing else is needed really awesome I very rarely use the um, InMotion app. I just use the InMotion app to check the um, stats and just to have a look at the have a look at the um, have a look at the options I've got in the wheel. But yeah, the app is also good. I had a bit of tr trouble in the beginning with the app. It didn't want to register. After sorting that out, the app has just been fine. I linked a, a V8F to it. I linked um, my V8F to it. I linked this wheel to it. I didn't register it. Just li linked it. To check it out there's a firmware on this wheel so i need to um uh, ian gave me the go ahead to, to update the firmware so i'm going to try that as well to the latest version so um look out for that video too so i'll go through that process 
Um, the side pads, this is very hard. Um, I would have liked that to be a little bit softer and a little bit wider as well, stand out a little bit more, like the V8F. And I think that would be a little bit more comfortable. But guys, the, the wheel is like super quiet and super solid. It just rides like, it's just very quiet. It is quite bizarre. A lot of people don't hear me coming at all compared to the other wheel, the S18 or the Sherman, because the Sherman's got that uh, little, that rugged tire. Um, I do like the RGB lights on the side. That's, that's really cool. Um, another thing is um, uh, uh, the pedal height. So I received the wheel with a pedal height right at the top. Um, it felt for me that the wheel was too, it's almost like it wants to tip over all the time. I did a few rides in the street just to try and get used to the wheel. It just felt like the wheel wanted to tip over the whole time. Leaning in, it just felt like it's, Bizarre, it's like it's top heavy, it shouldn't really be type of thing. But yeah, so I dropped it down to the middle setting and the middle setting is, is really nice for, for me. Now, the wheel doesn't come with side pads. I know you can put side pads on, you know, most uh, of the Grizzler uh, Grizzler pads on my Sherman. I would suggest you get uh, side pads for this wheel. It will probably make a huge difference to it and maybe get other pedals. Um, with the spike pedals that will make a use of it but i'm reviewing this this wheel with not any pads because when you spend that much money on a wheel you still need to factor in um, getting pads and pedals and all these things are like 100 pounds for this and 300 pound or 250 pound what whatever for the pedal so just keep that in in mind so i'm reviewing the unit with no side pads or pedals it's just a stock stock wheel so going going down. So the other my my other bit of feedback is this tire. The tire really rides comfortably, comfortable, or no, it gives you a a sense of security on gravel uh, track or trails or whatever. It's really nice on the road. It's super quiet. I'm running this wheel at 26 psi. A lot of guys recommend 30 psi and going higher and whatever. Man, this thing is hard. It's almost, if I compare this thing to my Sherman's tire, the Sherman's tire's construction feels to me that it's more squishy. Meaning that if you hit any, any, any bumps or holes or whatever, there's more um, uh, squishiness in the tire that allows you to, to have more, a more comfortable ride. This thing is like rock hard. It's almost like the tire's carcass is just like, too hard again 75 kilogram rider there's no chance i'm going to uh, 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 be able to uh, curb this wheel with my weight maybe i'm doing something wrong but the tires construction is just so solid it almost feels to to me i don't know if you guys uh, remember this way back you had um i had a, BM, I had a bmx and i fitted these uh, rubber uh, solid rubber tubes in the tires to prevent uh, punctures. This is how it feels. It's, the tire doesn't give in at all. Bizarrely, really weird. I don't. I don't really. I don't. I do understand it because the tire is a chunky tire. But if I compare that to my Sherman, the Sherman just really takes the impact. And the lower you go in relation to your weight, so you don't have pinch flats or 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 smash the rim out um, you you um, you don't get it on this one it's 26 psi and it's uh, <laughs> it's rock solid so that's that sort of my other thing um, the rim is really nice looks cool um, I must say the the orange accents on the wheel is really awesome um, it's really easy to inflate the wheel and deflate the wheel with a with an angled uh, uh, valve that's all cool um, Adjusting the pedal height as well. That's really simple, really easy to, to, to do. Four screws. You can see right there, four screws down there. Um, really, really, really simple. Undo them, move it down. Really simple design. That is, that is for me, really awesome. Um, again, the, this uh, stand, the trolley stand is really nice. It clips up. Again, riding... Uh, 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 off-road trails, this thing doesn't pop down or whatever, it just feels solid. The thing that I want to show you quickly, now I compare this to my Sherman and also the S18. 
as you can see, this line here is where my back leg is. So this is how much dust gets kicked up on the wheel. And as you can see at the back, that is it. Uh, this dust cover really works well. It keeps the, keeps the charge port and everything nice and clean. USB-C so you can charge your phone. I actually, quite a, a, quite a nice little thingy because it's got a USB port. I bought myself a little fan for um, cycling in the, in the garage just to keep me cool. So while I charge the wheel with my Sherman charger, that's quite nice. I plug the, um, the fan into the USB port and blow the fan over the charger so it keeps the charger cool because the charger has got a small little fan. So, so that's, that, that's quite a nice feature to have. But yeah, this thing, as you guys can see from, yeah, my rear legs of my uh, motorbike trousers are caked in dust. Funny, I wouldn't say that for the UK, but it's um, um, but it's currently super dusty here in the UK and it's super dry trails. Boaters for me, I can't complain. Um, but yeah, I had to ride with my um, thick uh, boots because uh, these shoes were just, on, on, on these pedals were just killing me for some bizarre reason. So uh, yeah, I've, I've done 60 miles on the wheel now um, um, and I must say, I'm struggling for some bizarre reason to have a comfortable ride on this wheel. I don't know why. As soon as you hit the road sections, um, it's really nice. It picks up speed really quickly, even without pads, you know, leaning forward. I've also adjusted the braking and the, and the, and the, and the pedal sensitivity from 100 to 90. So if there's any, any feedback that you guys got on that, please drop it in the comments below. I would really like to try out the settings on the wheel, how you find it the most comfortable. Um, but yeah, I'm struggling with this wheel, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's my Sherman rides more comfortable, comfortably compared to this wheel. Um, it might also be because this is a 16 inch wheel. Um, it feels very much like the King Song 16X, where it's, um, you know, the pedals stay very flat and it is very bouncy when you on the trail. Um, and listen guys, this is just my experience. Um, a lot of people that ride road will have a total different experience. But as soon as I'm on the road, it really rides um, super nice. Also, when the trails are very smooth, meaning if there's, there's a section I do between the trees and whatever where the trail has got no, uh, no holes or anything, it's just smooth, uh, gravel and then you get a real nice feel for the wheel but again if I compare this to the Sherman and I, and I compare this to my S18 because the S18 is pretty much the same height the S18 just gives me a much more flowier ride through there even with a worse tire a smoother tire um, the Sherman also feels to me like it's soaking up the the trail much better even without the side pads um, I've never had um, foot pain um, on my Sherman and I would ride like 60, uh, no, sorry, 30 to 40 miles in one go without any pains and it's a heavy, way heavier wheel than this. It just feels like this wheel compared to the size of the, of the, of the tire just feels too heavy for me to really get into a nice uh, uh, ride. Maybe it's because I'm too light of a rider um, that heavier riders would find this wheel better. I don't know. I'm still trying to figure this out. It's, it's, uh, it's really interesting, really interesting. Because I really want to love this wheel. Um, it's just it doesn't give me a comfortable ride. Um, but I'm going to give it, you know, I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it all. So, so, uh, so if there's any, any, any settings I can try, please let me know. Um, because I think this is such a solid, well-built wheel um, for, for just, for me currently, it's on the road. Um, but the thing is as well, with the, with the tire not um, be able to really take any impacts, you know, so if the tire doesn't, it can't like an squash in to actually give you a nice uh, cushion if you hit like a, a small pothole, not a small pothole, but just a, a small, uh, uneven road surfaces and it, and it bounces 
And I was saying to Ian, you know, if you bounce off like a penguin because the wheel just hits you up too hard and you in the air, it's, uh, yes, yes, maybe it needs to come with side pads. I don't know. It's bizarre. <laughs> it's bizarre. Absolutely bizarre. But otherwise, you know, how the wheel looks and feels and how it gets up to speed and how it rides on the road, it's super stable. I've not had any speed wobbles at all. And I, as you guys know, I never ride clamping the wheel at all. But I've moved my foot, my foot forward, backwards, open toes, closed toes, um, one foot forward, one back, um, uh, trying, to, trying to get a comfortable stance on this wheel, but I, I haven't done it. 60 miles, I haven't done it. So, uh, quite bizarre, quite bizarre. I might go um, uh, uh, and, 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 and put the foot plates on the lower setting and see how I get on with that. But uh, yeah, first ride feedback, guys. It's uh, interesting. I was uh, very keen to take this wheel and uh, trade in my uh, Sherman. I've got the Generation 1 Sherman, not even the Max or the Gen 2 with the higher foot plates. The first generation Sherman, because I thought this wheel is going to be the be all and end all, it's sort of that niche uh, market wheel that that allows me to um, get rid of my Sherman. But uh, but yeah, difficult. But really, guys, if there's any feedback or any comments on this, again, this is just my feedback. Okay, it's it's. I'm not saying it's a bad wheel or or is it too good of a wheel, but. At this moment, after 60 miles, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to give it a medium rating because it's, uh, I'm struggling to really, really feel the wheel. It's bizarre, bizarre. So uh, let me uh, know your feedback. Um, I'm also um, sort of on the side here, here of my, of my, of my shins. It is, it's really digging into my shins when I start and stop, start and stop. Um, because next to the canal I need to get off a few times to four people and dog walkers and stuff. So, uh, so interesting, interesting, very interesting. <laughs> so please don't give the video a thumbs down because I give the wheel a bad rating. This is just my feedback. Um, and, 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 and it's, it might be totally different to other people. But please let me know how you're finding your wheel. Um, um, you know, excluding all the, uh, uh, the feedback of the cutouts and the board replacements and so forth. Uh, let me know how you're finding this wheel and, um, you know, how you're finding it learning on this wheel. I think it's also a good wheel to learn on. But there might be a different wheel um, that might give you more fun to ride. Um, I'm still, I'm still um, interested to, um, uh, you know, I'm busy doing some range testing as well. So how the wheel compares to my S18. Is, is the range that bad compared to, to this one? Do I get so much more range compared to this wheel? We have to see. Okay guys, there was a lot of talking and uh, a lot of information in this video. Um, I hope it's useful to you someone um, looking at the um, V12 high torque. Um, it's got a lot of torque. Um, uh, I think for high, high, high speed, high leaning forward riders, this would be an awesome wheel. But I think for what I'm using it for is commuting every day and I do trail riding, the Sherman just feels to me more comfortable, bizarrely, weird. So uh, please guys, give me some feedback on your experiences on the, on, the, on, the, on, the, on the V12 and if you've got a high torque version. And um, if you haven't subscribed to, to the channel, please subscribe. And if you did like the video or the, or the information in the video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, and then, yeah, if, you, if, you, uh, if you've got any other information about the wheel, uh, again, as I said, please drop it in the comments below. And again, guys, thank you very much for supporting the channel. It's much appreciated. And I will see you on the next video. Hopefully, it's going to be the range test feed, feedback. So please subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.